his head hurts and he's cold and he just wants to snuggle. Somebody ran a stop sign. other instruments at the same beat. So if you were playing at this beat, then I could get the drums. And we could add other instruments onto you playing that the piano. That sounds awesome. Okay, try it. We'll do it with the drums with my mouth. Unfortunately, we had some grumpiness this morning at our house. Um, our kids are struggling with chores. And I know that's just a hard thing, and what I know I need to do as a mom is like redo my system, like kind of organize things a little bit differently, give them a little bit more structure. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to redo the chore system in our home, but I don't want it to bring so much friction every day. And you know, I know whining and complaining is just, is it just part of being a kid? I don't know, anyway. Janae, I got out our little play gym for her this morning and she is loving it. She keeps smiling and I know as soon as I put the camera on her, she's gonna stop, but it's really cute to see her enjoying it. This play gym, every single one of our kids has used. We got it when Isaac was a baby and they've always enjoyed it. And now it's you're crazy ginormous. to think that I was that little and they weren't here. To me that's so weird that they weren't here. Why are you doing that, Mom? I'm videoing what Janae's view is. And Janae's like a magnet at our house. Everybody wants to be with Janae. Alright, today we're going to do a fun activity with music and art put together. Okay. I love music and art, so it'll be amazing. Okay, so notice your paper is folded in half. Do you guys see the fold? Yeah. Yeah, you could cut okay. it. Okay. I want you guys to take a marker and draw a line on that fold. So what we're going to be doing is drawing to different kinds of music. Okay. So on one side, write rock, R O C K. Or draw a rock. <laughs> rock. <laughs> All right. Everybody, grab a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna listen for two minutes to rock music. And I want you guys to draw, and you can use as many colors and things as you want. Just stay on the rock side and draw to the music. Think of drawing to rock music. I just felt crazy. You felt crazy. I, I felt just... like sharp turns and stuff like that. I was just like do 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 do, and at some fast part, I just go do do do. And I felt like. <laughs> That's what she felt like. All right, everybody, grab a new colored pencil, and on the other side, we're going to be doing the classical music. different to draw to classical. I just felt so smooth. Smooth. I felt... <laughs> you still felt crazy? <laughs> she just always feels crazy. That's no matter what. Three. <laughs> all right, well here's mine. Hey, everybody grab something to draw with. Our next one is jazz. Do you guys all write jazz at the top of your paper? Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
Ready? It's a commercial. <laughs> Stupid YouTube commercials. your jazz logo. <laughs> oh yeah, I put the Utah Jazz logo for writing jazz. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So I noticed I felt very happy feeling, so I tried to use happy colors, and boy did my body want to dance. Or Ready for country? Yeah. Ready to dance. Break the markers, Caleb. Sing <laughs> <laughs> about the way you're going to Work until the daylight. Tell us about your country one. I just felt so happy, so this is the way that I like to do happy. I just really like country music. Yeah. And this is what I did that makes me super excited. Super excited? You like music, don't you? <laughs> and Caleb, you were dancing to the beat again? You really got into it. All right, so as we look at the differences between our rock drawing and our classical drawing and the jazz and the country, you can kind of feel the difference in the music. Where are we headed? Gymnastics! Are you excited? Yeah! Oh, don't yeah. fall out. Don't fall out. Buckle up. Buckle up. So on the drive over here, we almost got in an accident. I'm still feeling a little on edge from it. What happened was somebody ran a stop sign and pulled straight into my lane of traffic. And luckily I was able to swerve around them and luckily there was no oncoming traffic at that point. But anyway, it's just really scary. Be careful when you're driving. All right, show me how it's done. Nice work on the balance beam. Do you want me to hold your hand? Okay. So I'm sitting here doing reading lessons with Caleb and he's wanting to snuggle a bunch and keeps telling me he's cold. And so anyway, I get out the thermometer to read his temperature and somebody has been playing with our thermometer and changed it to the Celsius reading and I don't know how to change it back. So I can tell you that his temperature is 37.6 degrees Celsius, but I'm gonna have to Google that to figure out what that means, whether or not he has a fever, cause I don't know. I know how. You know how to change it? Isaac claims he knows how to fix this. Fix it, Isaac. Fahrenheit. You did it? Now try it. How did you do that, buddy? You just um, hold it. You get it onto so it says F slash C, and then you just hold, and it gets it to that to Fahrenheit. Well, apparently it's that simple. Thank you, Isaac. You're awesome. Okay, should we see if you have a fever, Cubby? By the way, Laura's feeling better, so hopefully if Caleb is not feeling good, it'll be pretty quick. 99.2. Let me try that again. Oh, my head hurts. Your head hurts. Okay, sit up tall so I can do it. 99.4. You've got a little bit of a fever. Are you not feeling good? Well, he's a little warm. I don't know if 99 point whatever technically counts as a fever or not, but it more matters to me how he's acting. He says his head hurts and he's cold and he just wants to snuggle. And if Caleb wants to take a nap, He's not feeling good. Let's get you some rest, big guy, okay? 
before he rests, he wants to show you guys how he's learning to write. Cubby, I love your handwriting. You all snuggled? Mm -hmm. Got your big blanket in there? You got your cubbies? I love you, buddy. Love you, too. Have a good nap, Cubby. <laughs> oh, Elise has the giggles because we are going over a spelling list and I just asked her to spell cup. Can you please spell cup for us? C-U-P. Why is that funny? Because it says C-U-P. And if you said I, C-U-P. Oh. <laughs> you're a goof. Hey, do you want to tell them why you're doing a spelling list? Um, I'm doing a spelling list and Isaac is because we're going to be in the competition of spelling things. Are you excited about it? Uh-huh. So what do you think of the fact that there's a spelling competition? I think that's pretty fun because I love spelling and I love competitions. Ooh, so do you think you're going to do pretty well? I think I might do pretty good. Well, we had different plans for this afternoon, but with Caleb being sick, we're definitely staying home. Isaac put on a jacket and went outside to play basketball. He's a diehard. And Elise and Laura are working on pipe cleaner sculptures. I might just make a sculpture of me. <laughs> I'm excited to see that. Laura, are you eating a snack while you're doing your art? Uh -huh. What snack are you eating? Goldfish, it's her favorite. Me. It's you, I love it. It's a portrait of me. With pipe cleaner. Uh-huh. I see it. Looks like you're wearing a dress. Yeah, I like dresses. And I'm going to church, so yeah. That's why I'm a bun. Oh, I like the hairdo. Well, we're going to attempt to start another family read aloud. We haven't done one since Janae is born, and I'm excited to get back into that. I love reading to the kids. We're going to read Wayside School is Falling Down. We read the first Wayside School book, and we love that one, and so I hope we enjoy this one too. It has short chapters, which is good in case people get fussy, like her. We've got Laura distracted, she's playing with beans, and the three big kids are coloring. How are you feeling, bud? My brain is hurting really bad. Your brain is? Dude, I can feel your temperature from out here. You're getting warmer. What is it? 102.4. Cubby asked to just be snuggled. So daddy came up to snuggle him. It's a good job. All right, for dinner tonight, we are having tacos, and let's just pretend that we're all getting along and that there's no fighting or teasing happening at our table or grumpiness at all. Yeah, let's go with that story. So it's time to feed this little girl again. She's just looking so cute to me. Hello. Hi. Laura, are you getting ready for bed? No, good night, Jess. Ow. 